Today I'm going to show you how to properly ship a keyboard synthesizer. Today we're going to ship this Korg Poly 6. It is important that you have at least six inches of packing between the instrument and the box. So let's do some measurements. All right, Korg Poly 6 is 38 and a half inches wide. 14 inches deep and 5 inches tall. So we need to add 6 inches to the overall measurements of this keyboard. So 38, uh, 38 and a half inches long plus another 6 inches is going to be 44 and a half inches long. The depth is 14 inches so another 6 on top of that is going to be 20 inches and the height what do we say? Five inches, so another six on top of that is 11 inches. So I'm gonna reuse a box that something that I bought was shipped in, which is 44 inches by 21 inches by eight inches. It's not as long or as tall as it should be, but when we properly package it, we're not going to have to worry too much about it. You don't want to have a box that's too big because then you start getting into dimensional weight based on the size of the package rather than the weight, which is going to cost you more to ship. Now, when shipping musical instruments, you want to use bubble wrap, the larger bubbles that are about an inch in diameter and a half inch in height. I do a lot of shipping, so I buy big four-foot rolls of bubble wrap that are perforated every foot. But if you run down to your office supply store, you can get rolls of bubble wrap that are a foot wide and perforated every, every 12 inches. The first thing you want to do is tear off four sheets a bubble wrap that are four feet wide. So we're gonna need four of these. And we're gonna make one giant four foot by four foot square. Lay them out on the floor with the bubbles facing down onto the floor. Into a giant square. Take a tape gun or roll of tape and tape it together. Now remember, we're taping the smooth side, not the bubble side. Now we're going to flip this over so the bubbles facing up. The bubbles are always going to be in contact with the item that you're packing. Next, we're going to place the keyboard in the middle of the bubble wrap. And then we'll wrap it up. Okay, now make another four foot by four foot square to double bubble wrap. Place the keyboard in the middle again. Now the Poly 6 has the power cord attached to it but most synthesizers have a separate power cord. This is where I like to put any accessories. I'll put them right there as I wrap them up. I like to tape this end down, make it nice and tight. Before we seal it up, we'll take this power cord out since it belongs to something else. Pull this side over nice and tight. One of the most critical areas 
that need to be protected when shipping a keyboard are going to be the ends. So let's take a two foot amount of bubble wrap and we'll roll it up. And take one of each of these. Fit each end of the center. So now the overall width of this is 45 inches, which is a little bit bigger than our box, but when we put it in there, it's going to squish it down. Now we're going to put the synth in the box and put peanuts around it, fill in all the other spaces. As you can see here, it's just the right size. We're going to take these peanuts that I've saved from previous shipments and we're going to fill it up. shake it up a little bit. Make sure all those styrofoam peanuts get down in there. And I've run out, so I'm going to have to go get some more. Well, I've run out of styrofoam, so I'm going to use some of this wadded up paper that I've saved from other shipments that I've received. Stuff it in there real good. it over and I've shook it up a little bit. There's a little bit of room that still needs some more void fill. So we'll take some more of this paper, stuff it around. And now we have a scent that's safe to ship.